Urgent warnings. Dr. James Hansen, head of the U.S. NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies, warns that even the toughest CO2 emission standard target currently in force needs to be lowered to assure planetary survival. He states, what we have found is that the target we have all been aiming for is a disaster, a guaranteed disaster. Australian scientist Dr. Professor Ross Garneau warns we have limited time and options for climate change. His research calls upon Australia to reduce greenhouse gas emissions as much as 90% by the year 2050. Over 600 scientists from across the United States addressed a letter to Congress urging immediate passage of a bill that would lower emissions by 65%. In their letter, the scientists stated, global warming represents by far the greatest threat ever posed to the planet's living resources. Former UK Prime Minister Tony Blair states we need to act aggressively in the next two years saying, we have reached the critical moment for the decision on climate change. Even on the mildest application of precautionary principles, failure to act on climate change would be deeply and unforgivably irresponsible. At the opening of a two-day General Assembly discussion on climate change, United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon urged developed nations to start the drive to counter global warming effects. He the need to encourage new kinds of cleaner technologies, industries and jobs and integrate climate change risks into national policies and practices. David Archer, professor of geophysical sciences at the University of Chicago in the U.S., stated, I personally think that we've already passed a danger limit. The amount of sea ice in the Arctic Ocean has been decreasing over the years, but then, in 2007, it just crumbled. And the earthquake activity and the acceleration of flowing ice in Greenland, I think these are signs that we are already in dangerous territory. Observing consequences of the warming trend in the U.S., which includes more frequent wildfires, massive tree die-offs from insect infestation, glacier melt in Montana, and severe water shortages in several states, Stephen Saunders, president of the Rocky Mountain Climate Organization, said, It's already begun. We are already seeing the effects. And scientists are telling us it's going to get markedly worse. Greek scientist Demetrius Lalas stated, We have seen an increase of temperatures during the summer by 6 to 7 degrees Celsius over the past few years, while the average increase in temperatures in other parts of the world have been 3 to 4 degrees Celsius. Recent research by Greenpeace has concluded that rising sea levels, diminishing water supplies, and altering monsoon seasons due to climate change could lead to 125 million Southeast Asians becoming homeless. Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd and UN General Secretary Ban Ki-moon agree progress on climate change is too slow. The European Commission identifies risks of tsunamis as directly related to climate change in Morocco, Norway, Iceland, Spain and the Eastern Mediterranean and is developing an early warning system to safeguard residents. Dr. Ted Scambos, lead glaciologist at the University of Colorado in the U.S., stated, In the polls, anybody who works in polar science, nobody questions whether we are in a warming world. We're in trouble because we see it in our fields every year. And ice plates that have been there for 10,000 years since the end of the last ice age are gone because the climate got that much warmer. And just in the last 20 or 30 years, it got that much warmer. In speaking of the Scottish coastline eroding into the sea due to climate change, Richard Lockhead, Cabinet Secretary for Rural Affairs and the Environment, said, These are happening now and we must take action. Climate change experts believe England, France, and the rest of Northern Europe will experience 20 to 30 percent more rain in intense bursts, leading to greatly increased chances of severe flooding. Tipping points. The United Kingdom's National Academy of Sciences identifies the nine regions of the planet most critically threatened by climate destabilization, all of which are experiencing severe stress. The main tipping points include melting of the Arctic ice caps, melting of the Greenland ice sheet, collapse of West Antarctica's ice sheet, die off of the Amazon rainforest due to desertification, collapse of the Indian summer monsoon, die off of the northern boreal forest. Tipping points one to three. The Arctic Ocean, Greenland ice sheet, and Antarctic are disappearing at alarming rates, exceeding even worst case scenarios. From the data on the 2007 summer melt season in the Arctic Sea, a growing number of scientists have concluded that the sea ice could be gone sometime between fall 2008 and 2012, 30 years earlier than previous aggressive estimates. The scientists making these predictions include Dr. Jay Zawali, an Earth Observing System Project Scientist at NASA, Dr. Louis Fortier, Scientific Director of the Canadian Research Network, ArcticNet, 
and Dr. Olav Orheim, Chief Scientist of the Norwegian International Polar Year Secretariat. Scientists at the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, announced that the older, thicker Arctic ice now makes up only 30% of the polar ice cap, representing a 30% decline over the past 20 years. Scientists at the University of Bern, studying ice core samples from Greenland and Antarctica, have determined that global warming during the past century was the greatest compared to the past 22 millennia, with the rate continuing to increase. In March, Western Antarctica experienced the disintegration of the largest ice shell 15 years ahead of predictions, alarming scientists at the speed at which it fell into the ocean. Tipping point four, the Amazon rainforest is under siege. Nearly 20% of global greenhouse gases originate from deforestation, with cleared lands being used primarily to graze livestock, raise food crops for animals, or raise biofuel. Brazilian Dr. Jose Marengo and colleagues have concluded that climate change caused the worst drought in Amazon history during 2005, leaving the tributaries of the Great Amazon River dry. The Livestock Environment and Development Initiative within the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization estimates that 70% of the Amazon has been cut down for meat production. Tipping point five, the Indian monsoon season has grown increasingly erratic. More unexpected patterns in the Indian monsoon have led to catastrophic events. In 2005, a single day's rainfall on July 26 flooded Mumbai with a record 944 millimeters and 1,000 casualties. In 2006, the late arrival of the monsoon rains in the Marathwada region of Maharashtra state caused flooding which swept away 400 villages and led to the loss of 700 lives. Devastating floods in 2007 led to over 19 million people being displaced and over 1,300 lives lost over India and Bangladesh. Tipping point six. Permafrost melting in boreal forests is releasing carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere, factors which are not currently accounted for in climate change forecasts. The UN Environmental Program, or UNEP, called for urgent research into the danger of methane gas being released from thawing permafrost, which threatens to drive climate change faster than current expectations. Executive Director of UNEP, Achim Steiner, said, The unknowns about the amount and rate of methane released from the thawing Arctic makes it a wild card when considering climate change risks. Scientists are concerned that bacteria in the soil of formerly frozen regions, like the Arctic, will increase the carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere as they become more active in the warmer climates. Soil stores twice as much carbon as the atmosphere. Dr. Eric Davidson, senior scientist at Woods Hole Research Center in Massachusetts, USA, said, There's a sort of a time bomb, in my view, waiting to go off. There's a huge stock of carbon stored in permafrost, and that is all subject to relatively rapid decomposition if that permafrost melts. With warmer temperatures melting the permafrost under their feet, the residents of Sayuli of northern Quebec, Canada, consider moving their entire town away from the mudslides and sinking buildings and roads. Native Alaskan villagers seek reimbursement from companies known to produce large amounts of greenhouse gases to help them move their village, which is built upon melting permafrost. Temperatures in the boreal forests of Siberia and Alaska have been increasing at twice the average temperature rises in other parts of the planet. Dr. Katie Walter, assistant professor of limnology at the University of Alaska, confirms that methane is being released from melting permafrost and bubbling up from frigid Arctic lakes. Dr. Walter says, permafrost is like a time bomb waiting to go off. As it continues to thaw, tens of thousands of teragrams of methane can be released to the atmosphere, enhancing climate warming. She also states that 950 gigatons of carbon gas is trapped beneath the permafrost layer of Siberian lakes, more CO2 than is in the atmosphere today. NASA climate expert Jim Hansen states, in past eras, the release of methane from melting permafrost and destabilized sediments on continental shelves has probably been responsible for some of the largest warmings in the Earth's history. Climate-related health issues. After the flooding in England last summer, veterinarians have seen a dramatic surge in the incidence of deadly diseases affecting pets and wildlife. They indicate that humans are also at risk, as some of these diseases can jump the species barrier. Doctors from the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto, Ontario, report that the habitat range of disease carriers, like ticks and mosquitoes, will soon expand throughout the heavily populated areas of Canada because of global warming. A report issued by Stanford University in California, USA, has confirmed a direct link between rising levels of CO2 in the air and increased human mortality. A new World Health Organization report says that severe weather and natural disasters can lead to a variety of stress-related mental problems and even suicides.